Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again for Fungi Films Pro Wrestling. I am, as usual, your host, Dr. Butcher, and tonight we will continue round one of our World Championship Tournament. First match coming up is Duke, the Ryder Dempsey, versus Jacob Dawn, and we will go ahead and get right to this match. Once again, we have a power wrestler up against a somewhat more agile, more scientifically gifted wrestler. And here's Duke with his own Duke is Here comes Jacob Dawn. All right, and the match is about to begin. And they lock up. Duke Dempsey competing without the presence of his uh, brother, the self-proclaimed Dirtbag Dempsey. And if neither one of them, well, Duke, uh, his brother wasn't eligible for the tournament. So if Duke does not manage to win the world title, I would imagine to see both of them pursuing the tag team belts. And right now, Duke in full control of the match. Using his brawling skills. He's keeping the Jacob Keep Dawn grounded. And it makes Keep me wonder if we're going to see a repeat of the Fallon Trainer match. No! Oh, quick, quick, small package. Try to get that match over with in a hurry. But it's way too early for that. We see the scientific prowess. Although Jacob Dawn is also a capable brawler, if called upon to be so, as we can see right now. Very few men can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe in the FFPW against the big rider, Duke Dempsey. But right now, Jacob Dawn is making it look possible, if not easy. Whipping in the corner. Comes charged in. Nobody home. Jacob out of the way. And comes into a submission hold. Didn't have that long. Duke's power just too great. Another whip in. Sidewalk slam by Duke. Got up kind of slowly. And I'm, and I'm wondering if it's part of Jacob's strategy to keep Duke running, tire him out, uproot German suplex. And now I don't like Jacob's chances in this kind of action. Uh, he surprised me. He got it. Going up to the top. And it's the high flag maneuvers where Jacob Dawn really shines. Ooh, vicious series of headbutts by Duke. And I think that's going to put an end to Jacob's runner. No, Jacob firing back. Beautiful back-to-back -back elbow drop. Five minutes gone. It looks like he's hurt himself a little bit without leg feed in Zagiri. I don't know that attacking the head of Duke Dempsey's oh. a That's it. Dawn breaker, neck breaker. I think he thinks it's over. This could be it. Very close. Very close. Very few men kick out of the break of day neck breaker. Up he goes again. Another flying back elbow drop. And he is he is using the quarter to his advantage. He's using those turnbuckles. Keeping the big man down. Northern Lights bomb. And Jacob Dawn seems to have his match thoroughly under control. Vicious kick. Over. And there it is again. The break of Dawn. And the pin. I think it's over. Yes. Yes, indeed. Even Duke Dempsey doesn't kick out of two break of Dawn's. And that means Jacob Dawn will be advancing to the next round.
And let's move right on, Shooting Star Press. Let's move right on to our next match. And it's going to be, uh, we've already done these, haha. -ha. Dragon Hero, the martial artist, versus Pretty Boy, Dirk Studley. And Dragon Hero will be the first one out to the ring. There we go. So martial arts versus bodybuilding prowess. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, whatever Dragon Hero was planning, Studley was having none of it. A lot of good counter moving, counter wrestling here. Uh, flying Mare. And they lock up arm drag by Studley. We may see it's a nice scientific contest. Oh, a little bit of kicking there. Test of strength, and I've got to imagine Sudley's going to come out on top of that one. Yes, indeed. And Dragon Hero is not trying to cooperate here. He simply will not do it. Refuses to be set up for a slingshot maneuver. Nice body slam. Forearm. Excellent suplex. And it looks like the figure four leg lock. Dirk going for the figure four. It was, he knew it was too early to get a submission with that. Oh! And unfortunately, the referee could not respond to that. And I see Dirk has decided to uh, resort to some less than respectable techniques here. Which is a shame. She's a very talented scientific wrestler. Flying body press. I think it's too early. Two count on it. Two count on it. And it looks like a little anger in their eyes here. And Dragon Hero comes out on top. Those, those vicious martial arts kicks. Could not get, could not get Dirk up for the suplex. Dirk countered it. Again, very scientifically gifted. Superman punch and a cover. One, two. Only two count, two count over. And Dragon Hero is starting to look a little bit winded. Going up the top, no, he, whatever he was setting up for, he did not like it. I think he felt the Dragon Hero was playing possum. Oh! Over! And again, motion to the crowd that it's over using those cheap, underhanded tactics. Beautiful kick to the back of the head, however. Ah, oh, series of headbutts. And Dirk Studley is in complete control of this match with Dragon Hero. Dirk Studley often seen in tag team competition with his partner, breathtaking Bartholomew Bates, who we'll see later. Dragon Hero, oh. oh, Dirk Punch. Dirk Punch, and that could be it. That could be it. So close. So close. And Dragon Hero is going to have a hard time recovering from that. Go for suit. Still cannot get the suplex. Dirk is countering that maneuver. And the ultimate insult. Dirk has just used Dragon Hero's own 
flurry kick finishing maneuver against him. And honestly, I think he should have gone to the pin right there, but no, no, he's got to embarrass him. He's got to humiliate him, raking the face with his boots. Just unfortunate, and I think this could be it. Flying body press. Mercifully, it's over. And pretty boy, Dirk Studley will move on to the next round. Just a humiliating, humiliating loss for Dragon Ball. Dirk Studley showing some dominance in the ring. Using his own finishing move to taunt him. That's definitely a Dirk Studley maneuver. So Dirk will face Jacob Dawn in the quarterfinals. But we haven't finished this round yet. And it's time for Dr. Butcher versus the Spirit Warrior, Gunner Stormhammer. Dr. Butcher, very dangerous submission wrestler. Knowledge of pressure points, knowledge of human anatomy. And here he comes to the ring. And here comes his opponent. Dr. Butcher versus Spirit Warrior Gunner Stormhammer. And if there's a disadvantage to be had here, it's probably that the doctor was unable to bring his manager, Nurse Anna, to the ring with him. Our rules for the tournament prohibited such things. We decided we did not want our world champion to be determined by any possible outside interference. So for a lot of back and forth action here. Ooh, the doctor missing an attempted pinfall. Brutal knee by Stormhammer. And once again, we have a power versus finesse match here. We've seen several of those this tournament. We've seen power come out on top. We've seen finesse come out on top. Which one will it be this time? Right now, the power of Gutter Stormhammer seems to be carrying him through. Vicious backbreaker, and Dr. Butcher really needs to put up some offense here. There we go, he's firing back. A counter maneuver, using his scientific skills. That's what he's gonna have to do to counter this kind of power. Stormhammer picking him up like he was a child. Only a count of one though, only a count of one. As devastating a maneuver as that is, the doctor's too tough competitor to go down this early in the match. Uh, this is a competition the Doctor does not want to get into, I don't think. No, he carried it off. But then Dr. Butcher is a PhD, or, or was. It's my understanding that he's uh, lost his license to practice. But he still knows exactly where to hit a person to do the most damage. And again, gonna go to the early pin. And again, hasn't really gotten to Another press slam. Not going for the pin this time. He knows he's got to deliver more damage than that. Pressing him again. And at this point, Gunner is just showing off his superior power. Sidewalk slam. And the doctor has got to fight back here. Gunner just laying a beat down on him. Five minutes gone. Spirit Warrior, Gunner Stormhammer, one of our most powerful competitors. And he is dismantling the Doctor. By finally firing back to the DDT. Let's see if he can keep this up. Oh! Coconut Crusher. 
There we go. Desperate to go for the legs. That might, might be what he needs to do. Going for the pin, backslide, but too close to the ropes. Gunner able to get a foot in the ropes. Another snap suplex. And, what? oh, nobody home for the flying leg drop. Tiger suplex. And Gunner Stormhammer just picking his spots here. Hi, Brain Buster. Just putting on a show at Dr. Butcher's expense. And, and the doctor, the, the referee really should just stop this match at this point, in my opinion. Oh, the doctor fighting back. The doctor fighting back. He's brought himself some breathing room. He's brought himself some breathing room. Only to get another brain buster. Oh, and a vicious backdrop. That one folded him in half like a card table. And the Gunner's getting tired. Apparently Gunner belongs in the school of, I won't beat you until you're tired, I'll beat you until I'm tired. That certainly seems to be what's happening here. Is this the doctor's plan? Survive Gunner's offense, then take advantage of him when he's exhausted. It's certainly a painful way to make a living. Bulldog headlock by the doctor. And he is still in this match. Surprisingly, he is still in this match. This may be his plan all along to simply outlast Gunner's offensive flurry. Oh, no, wait. Storm hammer. And I think that's it. Ten minutes gone. No, the doctor is still fighting. Like another brain buster. If it is the doctor's plan to let Gunner exhaust himself, he had really better carry through with it pretty soon. Because I don't see how the doctor could absorb much more damage. Spinning spine buster. Gunner trying to catch his breath. That's the last thing in the world the doctor needs to have happen right now. Stomps from the lower back. Excellent drop kick. Pinpoint drop kick. Another suplex by Gunner. And I don't see how I don't see how the doctor can take much more of this. He's absorbed a tremendous amount of damage. Pendulum back and still fighting. Looks like he's working on the lower back of Gunner Stormhammer. Oh, atomic drop into a German suplex. And the leverage on that fist drop. And the doctor is in. Running elbow drop. And I'm starting to believe he could still pull this off. Seems to be lining Gunner up. Flying head scissors. Gunner puts an end to that with a standing power slam. He is he is moving very slowly, however. Gunner is obviously winded. Jumping arm breaker. He's setting up the painkiller arm bar. He's setting up for the painkiller. But Gunner Stormhammer, I don't think he's the kind of man who submits. He is moving painfully slow. He is, he is obviously. That is not. He, he needs to rest. He needs to catch his breath. He doesn't need to be dancing. And he, he has caught his breath. And I think that's going to bode very ill for the doctor. Another vicious backdrop. Right on the back of the head. Gunner still breathing hard. But he's fighting back out of the corner. Running elbow drop. I think he missed. Repeated fist drops to the forehead by the doctor. Oh. Coconut cruncher into an elbow drop. And 
and the doctor just floored Gunner with a single punch, and it, it started to look like this is anybody's match. The referee is down. The referee is down. Who is going to try to take advantage of this situation? Do they even know? I don't even think they realize it. No, she's recovering now. She's recovering now. I don't think either man even realized what three was down. Nobody tried to take advantage of the situation. At this point, these men are so exhausted. Coming up at about the same time. This could be it. Backslide. One, two, three. Yes, and Dr. Butcher manages to pull one out. Excellent match. Excellent match. I thought for sure that he was not going to get past Gunnar Stormhammer this evening. But right there at the end, he manages to slip in the backslide. Surprise pin. And Dr. Butcher will be advancing to our next round. All right, let's move on to our final match for the evening. And that is going to be Colonel USA, the Patriot, versus breathtaking Bartholomew Bates. And we'll head right on down the ringside. Colonel USA, sort of a throwback to a simpler time. And here he comes now. Bartholomew Bates, another talented scientific aerial wrestler. Colonel USA, more of an all-around wrestler, but definitely uh, leading toward a power merchant. But really capable of doing anything in the ring. And right now, anything seems to be taking the early advantage of Bartholomew. Counter move, backdrop, very nice. Excellent reversal by the Colonel. And setting up suplex. And of course, Bartholomew Bates considers himself one of the prettiest men in the FFPW. Second, perhaps, only to his tag team partner, Dirk Studley. And Bates would probably argue even that. But despite his uh, unique look, Bartholomew is a consummate professional drink. Gut wrench slam. And the Colonel obviously feels he has things under control. And he does when he rolls through a vertical suplex attempt. And again with Gut Wrench Tornado Slam. Short arm clothesline. And the Colonel is going up. Elbow drop. And this is not looking good for the breathtaking one. Corner, nobody home. Bates out of there. But again with the reversal. The Colonel, Colonel USA knows all the holds, all the reversals, spinning power slam. Yeah! And it's the, that's it. The red, the white, yeah. and the blue suplex. And this could be it. We're looking for an early match here. Almost. Five minutes Almost. And we're seeing we're seeing a lot of finishing moves kicked out of here. But 
with all of you desperately trying to fight back with that body slam. Trying to get the momentum rolling in his direction, but so far, the Colonel has been on top of him. Out of the tide, finally coming back. Those elbow shots directly, perfectly legal elbow shots directly to the face of the Colonel. Another tornado slam. And it looks like the Colonel's taking control again. Well, he's setting up for vicious clothesline. So I thought he'd be fighting back. I finally got a suplex. And again, those elbows into the face. Turtle USA. Excellent takedown. Going for a cover, and I don't think he really thinks he's going to get a cover like that. And the Colonel with his trademark tornado slam, he's setting him up. Charging tackle all the way across the ring. Yeah! And there it is, the red, white, and blue. And I don't think yeah. the Breathtaker's coming out of this one. The red, white, and blue suplex. One, two, three. And that's it. It's all over. It's all over for Breathtaker Bartholomew Base and Colonel USA with a decisive victory as the last Federation member to move in to the next round of the World Championship Tournament. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Psycho Hippie. I'd like to thank you for joining me this evening. And uh, next week, we shall move on to the semifinals. And we'll be that much closer to determining the Fungi Films Wrestling Federation World Champion. Until then, this is Psycho Hippie. Good night. <laughs>